Okay, so this is the eMeet Office Core M2 conference speaker. Now I've been using it for a couple of weeks and before I run through the general operation of it, I'm going to tell you why I got it and what I really like about it. So when I'm, um, when I'm in the home office, I can have a set of head, uh, headphones on and make and receive calls through that. Uh, which is fine because I don't like to hold the phone uh, while I'm making a lot of calls because it, it means that my hands are tied up. If I'm hands free, I can do all sorts of things like be on the uh, tablet, for example. There you go, be on the tablet or the PC. Um, now, the trouble with that is um, the head the headset gets a bit uncomfy after a while. With this, it's just there in the background. When you want to make or receive a call, all you do is you, it just then comes into use. So if you're receiving a call, you press a button to receive. If you're making a call, you make the call on your phone, it flips across to the conference speaker. The clarity is fantastic. You can, I mean, there's the mobile phone. They have a speaker on them. Why don't you just use that? It's because the clarity and volume on this is superb. And there are other things as well, which means that you can move around the room and it'd be very, very useful. All right, there you go, the lights on now so we can see things a bit better. Right, um, so this is why I've bought it to use in the home office. However, when I was in the corporate environment, what I found was you were going into meeting rooms and there was um, a, a conference speaker in there connected to a phone, but you were having to try and remember what your PIN number was for the phone so that you could access it and then look at your mobile phone to get the number that you were actually supposed to be dialing for the conference call. And it all just got really stupid and harassing. Uh, if I'd have had this, I could have just taken it into the room, popped it down, got the phone out, made the call, and the here presto conference speaker up and running right so just like any bluetooth device really really easy to connect and when you turn it on once it's been connected comes on like that makes a noise then makes a noise to actually show that it's been connected so that is now paired with my phone um you can increase or decrease the volume so if I just pick it up and show you this. So there's a light running around the outside. As you decrease the volume, you can see that it's decreasing in size around the speaker. Increase. All right, there we go, so we're at full volume. If I turn it over, you've got a rubber ring that goes around, which means once it's down on the floor, you can press the buttons and it's not sliding around as you're using it. To make a call, very, very simple. Just make a call as you would do on your phone. Uh, so that now is dialing. This is the Vodafone voicemail service for Smartless. Please leave a message after the tone. When you finish recording, please hang up or press the hash key for more options. Now, something that I really like about this, you can see how this light's just lit up. Basically, that means it, it's a directional microphone, so it knows where I am, and it's and, and it's saying that this is the microphone that's on. If I if I go like that, you well, you saw the light come on there. If I move over in this direction, it follows me around, and if I come over here, yeah, it follows me around again. So there's four microphones around it and it basically, whoever's talking or if you're moving around the room, for the best pickup, it's following you and switching those microphones on and off, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, this is this is obviously recording, um, not recording. This is this is now attached to the answer phone. If I wanted, if I was talking to somebody and I wanted to just mute it, just press the center button. It lights up red, as you can see there, to show that it's muted. And if I want to unmute it, Simply press that again. Again, you've got your volume keys. Um, I'm just going to end that call now. There we go, so that call is ended. You see it's just ended. Now, something else that it does, the button there, if your device, whether it's a PC, whether it's a mobile phone, whatever it is, if it's got an assistant on it, that button there calls the assistant. So that's just letting me know that it's come through. So what I can do now is if I press this, the Google Assistant will open up on the phone. 
When is when is the England game tonight? England will play Colombia in the round of 16 today at 7 p.m. That's how easy it was. I'll just move the phone out of the way and show you this in a little bit more detail. Um, so I've shown you the various lights on it. If I um, press this once, I think it's once. Yeah, so it's lit up green. It's basically saying that there's plenty of battery life in it. If it lights up red, it's saying that you've got a problem. Yeah, and it needs to charge and to charge it. So these are the, uh, these are the microphones I was pointing out earlier on. You can see there, another one there. And so there's four of them around it. But if we get to this point, um, you've got, and I can't remember the name of the, there's a specific name of the, it's a lock for uh, for PCs, laptops and things like that. I can't remember it, but that, that's the lock there anyway. You've got your auxiliary input. What have we got? You've got your auxiliary in and out, uh, and you've got your power, um, your micro USB connector there, all obviously covered up by this nice uh, flexible rubber rubber thing there. Right, if I want to charge it or connect it to a device, then all I do is I pop that into there like so. Right, now if I just, if we just look at that, so we've got a blue light on that. If I am um, trying to think what it is that I press, um, think it's that no is it that for longer no that right so blue light now saying that i'm on i'm connected by bluetooth to whatever device i've connected it to if i press that it's saying that i'm connected it's turned green green means i'm connected by the uh, um by the usb lead micro usb um there's another one which i, th I think is is red and that's to say you've got your, your auxiliary connector uh, in. If you've been into a conference room and it's a large conference room, not only will uh, microphones be switched on and off to, um, to concentrate on who's talking and block all the background noise out, what you can also do is um, you'll have seen in large conference rooms, you've got your main conference speaker phone and then you've got uh, a, satellite, um, a satellite speaker a, a receiver off to off to one side connected by cable well, you can do that with this which is uh, connected into uh, either the in or the out I'm not too sure I think it's the out and again just by an auxiliary cable um, and a jack plug switch that back to Bluetooth I'm pretty sure that in the past I have listened to music let's take that out because that's neither use nor at the moment so let's have a look. Play that. So you can hear that coming through there. And you heard the clarity of it earlier on as well. Now it's not it's not exactly like a Sonos speaker or anything, but it I said the clarity. Let me just pause it. The clarity is is what makes the oops. There we go. The clarity is what <laughs> Right, that's it. Now it's paused. Um, it's the clarity that makes the difference with this speaker. It's the size of it, it's the usefulness, it's compact, it sits on the desk. You can use it as an assistant, you can use it as a conference speaker. Currently, as I say, it's in the home office and I'm just using it as a hands-free speaker. It, it's it's worth every penny. The only downside I would say is that there there is an app um, I can't find the app on my Android phone. I can find it on my wife's iPhone. However, I can only get it in Chinese. But other than that, this speaker does everything that it's supposed to do. It's compact, it's well made, as you can see. It's just a really nice speaker. So I'm very happy with it, I'll turn it off. And that's it off. So that's a big recommendation from me, that.